So we were supposed to make a cool scrap run video with this truck, but we started to have some pretty big problems with it and we're gonna have to do an injection pump on that. So that's what we're doing today. We're doing an injection pump on this gigantic 6.9 diesel, our big work truck, our F-250. So let me bring you guys again and we're gonna get right started. Welcome to High Hill Stable Garage. This is what we got going on. As you can see, it's a 6.9 IDI or a 7.3 IDI. It's the exact same thing pretty much for this course of action. On this truck, it's a 6.9. So what we have to do is basically unbolt our injection pump, air cleaner, injectors, all that stuff. Get rid of it all. So what we're gonna do basically first is unbolt this guy right here. So two bolts on the bottom, take off our air cleaner, and take off all of our high pressure lines. We should be able to take it all off as one unit. So let's do that. We got all of our injection lines completely off. These are our hard lines. The next lines that we have to take off is this line right here to our fuel return and also this middle injection line right here that right there let me see if i can follow it goes up to our fuel bowl right here so we got to take this guy off right here at the back see if i can get you guys to see it that one is kind of by himself same five eighths nice and easy takeoff and this guy up here i believe he's either a three quarter or an 11 16 so we're going to take both of these guys off and then we'll be right back All the fuel lines are disconnected now. See, they're all disconnected from our standard iron pump. So what we're gonna do now, unplug our two wire and harness plugs right here and right here. That's to our fuel cutoff. We also have this one right here. That's it to our fast advance, our fast advance module right there. We're gonna tuck that off to the side, poke them over there. We have our throttle linkage right here. See if I can get that guy off there. Come on now. There we go. Pull him off. There we go. Nice and easy. So throttle linkage is now off. Now all we have to do to separate this pump is take this guy off right here. Two 12 or 13 mil bolts. Actually, you know what? I think they're standard, but I got a 13 right here that's gonna take these guys off. No problem. So we're gonna take these guys off. And then we also have the bolts here at the back. So let's go ahead and do that. Take these bad boys off. All right, so you can see that that's three 12 mil bolts up inside this housing. A little dowel pin for alignment that's on the injection pump. This is just the timing gear right here in this timing housing. Do not remove this timing housing. You'll screw up the timing of your engine. It's a royal pain to retime these diesels without the front cover on and exposing all the gear. So don't take this front piece off. You gotta take these three 12 mils off and then this guy right here at the back. So this holds the pump to the housing right here. These bolts right there, they hold this pump, the standard iron pump to your housing. And then these three little bolts hold your pump to your timing gear. So. Let's take off those two guys right there. Now, just to make we're sure we're on the same page here, I don't know if you can see that, right there. That's your static timing mark on your Stanodyne pump, right there. And I don't know if you can see this. Let me see if I can move this guy out of the way here. Move him out of the way. You see that? There's another mark on my gear housing. You wanna line those two up when you're installing, but just kinda of have a rough idea of where those are on your new pump. But yeah, it's right there. And then the gear housing one's right there. So yeah, let's take out these bolts. Summarize what we got so far. All the injector lines have been disconnected. Our main feed line from our filter housing to the back of our injection pump right there has been disconnected. 
Our fuel line to our return system off our injection pump has been disconnected. Throttle linkage, all of our wires, all three, one, two, three, they've been disconnected, put to the side. We have all three main housing bolts disconnected, basically undone, the nuts are undone. And then we have our three timing gear bolts right there. They've been disconnected. So now what we have to do, take off our throttle linkage right here and we should be able to lift this entire thing right up. Here's a good chance to kind of look at everything. There's our timing gear in here. As you can see, it can kind of move around a little bit but it's pretty much locked in. You don't really have to worry about anything getting dislodged or anything like that. As you can see, our pins are still in there. There's a pin that comes here and a pin at the back. No big deal there. These are our washers and stuff, so we can keep those there. A Little bit of junk at the bottom of our valley pan, but we'll clean that up before we put this new guy in. But yeah, so just put that guy there. Let's take our injection pump. We got our two pumps here. Here's the, here's the original one out of the truck. Here's our replacement pump. This is a used pump, but it's a known good pump. It's the exact same pump, part number, everything's the exact same. It's turned up the same flats, at least right now. So all what we're gonna do now is basically move our bracketry over under this pump right here. So let's do that. All right, so all of our spider's legs are now attached. There's our old pump right there for reference. So what we're gonna do now, there's a little tiny fitting at the back. We have to steal off this one. We're gonna put it on this. And then we're also gonna steal the loud F-150, really loud for no reason. And then we're gonna steal our, basically our fast idle module right here so let's take that guy off too all we've done so far is a line up our pins underneath and basically you just stab your injection pump right back into where it was sitting nice and easy no real problems whatsoever let me bring you guys around so as you can see down here on our injection pump here it's all in line this is the center of our injection pump right here that middle part it's exactly where it needs to be our injection pump is basically fully seated. All of our injection lines are basically where they need to be. So now what we're gonna do is make sure that our static timing is right dead on. Line up the mark, bingo, bingo. To recap, all of our fuel lines are loose. They're not tight, even on this side right here. Our main fuel line off of our filter housing is now connected up to our injection pump. Our electrical is connected to our injection pump. Our timing gears back on, our oil fills back on. We didn't touch the timing cover. Static timing's the same. We checked to make sure our master fuel shutoff is working, our valving. So now all we have to do is bleed this system and it should run. So what I'm gonna go do is turn the key on and then we're gonna watch for any fuel leaks. Now, very important, if you have a manual transmission truck like this one, make sure it's out of gear. We got fuel happening down there. 
No fuel anywhere else. Not yet, anyway. Got some fuel right there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to tighten up this line and we're going to tighten up that back line. We're not going to snug them up or we're not going to tighten them fully, just snug them up a little bit. Because basically we want the chance for the fuel for the other guys to start going through. There we go. So, what we're gonna do, again, now that we know that those ones are kinda working, we're just gonna snug these guys up just a touch. Nothing crazy. Just so they're touching, but also so that they can still leak. We're just gonna go ahead and tighten this back one up. He's pretty much set. There we go. Give it a little bit of crank action, once again. gonna tighten up these guys again now that they're all leaking and we should be good to start so we actually got this guy running off camera there it was a pain to bleed this is an older pump hasn't seen fuel in a long time we ended up having to take this top cover off and kind of finagling some pieces on the inside there but we got it all bled on the side we got our e-pump running we're running a little bit of ATF in our line just to kind of help free some stuff up as you can see pull that off Put that on. You can hear the solenoid. There you go, solenoid's working. So we're gonna jump this from the outside just for you guys so I don't have to walk all the way in the cab. Neutral, all that good stuff. Gonna hit our jumper.
go guys. A little bit of extra work on this, but now we have a fully functioning injection pump and we can actually do that scrap run we were supposed to do a long time ago. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something and I hope it helped you out with your IDI. We'll catch you guys in the next one really, really soon. All right, see ya.